Hello. So, update from the Explorium Globe Observer Tree Team. Over the last couple of months, you've been taking measurements of tree heights with a range in heights from 8.39 metres up to 29.29 metres, which is impressive, but nothing compared to the tallest trees in the world, the California redwoods, which can regularly grow as tall as 90 metres. And looking at all our measurements got me to thinking, is there a trend that the lower elevation the tree is growing at, so close down to sea level, the shorter the tree is? It's certainly true that our tallest tree was growing at the highest point above sea level. Although our shortest tree wasn't quite growing at the lowest, it was measured at an elevation of about six metres above sea level, so it's still pretty low. And in fact, the lowest elevation tree of all was only 9.66 metres tall, so still a pretty short one. OK, so to check out this trend, to see if it holds true, let's have a look at some of the data that was gathered by satellites when they were measuring tree heights. OK, so here we are. We're looking at a day when the satellite was flying directly over Port Jeff. And you can see that the laser beam is split up into six, which are shown by these different colours of splodges as the, as the photons are sent down and then bounce back up and are measured. So what we can do is select a region and this is going to give us an elevation profile that the laser beam is taking. So if you imagine that laser is a knife cutting through the earth and then you look at it from the side in cross section, that is what we're about to see. Okay, so here we are. So this is cool. It looks like a bit of a mess at the moment because we've got all six of the different lines shown on the same graph. And as you can see, they are not six lines taken in the same place. So let's calm this down a bit and have a look at one at a time. Let's start maybe with the pink line. So if we look at where it cuts through, we can see it goes over land and then through the sea and then over this little spit of land at the end. So you would expect it to see, to see a tall section and then a flat section and then a little bump as we go over the land. So pink. Okay, so here we are. So as we expected, we've got going over the land, down to the sea, this super flat bit here, and then whoop, over the sand at the end. Um, so this is cool. This is the elevation of the land, but that's not really what we're interested in. We're interested in trees. So if you come down here, this shows us canopy heights, which all that means is the height of the top of the tree compared to the earth. So you can see the tallest trees are up here at the start. We've got some more tall trees in the middle, and then we've got some fairly short ones all along the profile. So this does not really back up what I was saying about shorter trees happening at lower elevations, because then we would expect here all of these ones to be short, whereas actually we've got a little spike there. So interesting, I'll leave the link for this website in the description for this video, so you can go and have a play and investigate my theory for yourself. Have fun, guys.